Hey everyone, Nick here and welcome back to GameTube, and welcome back to our Five Nights at Freddy's character concept series. So in today's video, the character we're looking into is Bruce the Goose. So we're looking into this character's backstory, their location, their gameplay mechanics, and all that good stuff as well. And as always, I will just state that I'm not the biggest FNAF expert, so everything I say in these videos isn't exactly canon to the FNAF universe. So this is pretty much like our own stories and our own characters, and we hope you enjoy. And lastly, before we start today's video, do be sure to subscribe to GameTube as we'll be doing a subscriber-only live stream in the near future where we're going to make our own community FNAF character. So stay tuned for that. Alrighty, well, let's take a look at Bruce the Goose. So now we come to our fourth character at the Freddy Fazbear Funtime Farm. The previous characters we explored were Henry the Horse, Daisy the Dairy Cow, and Winky the Pig. Each of these crazed animatronic characters had their specific reasons for attacking the player. So for our next character we have Bruce the Goose. Bruce the Goose was quite the unique Freddy Fazbear animatronic. They shared similar body features and mechanics to their other robotic brothers and sisters, but their standout feature was their long extendable neck. The engineers designed their neck to overextend and retract back to its regular size. This feature was typically used for serving food or presenting gifts to guests. Employees would place a tray of pizza and sodas in their bill and they would let Bruce extend their long neck over to the guests and place it on their table. Now typically, geese didn't have such long necks, and definitely not necks that could stretch out for meters but the engineers thought it was a fun gimmick and they decided to go with it. Plus, the guests all enjoyed being served food by the wacky character. Alongside serving food and drinks, Bruce also played in the band when it was time to perform. So, in the band we had Henry on guitar, Daisy on tambourine, and Bruce who played the harmonica. They would set up a harmonica on a stand as Bruce would put their bill up to it and play. Now, of course, all the characters weren't really playing their instruments, it was just a recording. Also, for anyone wondering, does Onky play in the band? The answer is no. They were meant to be a standalone character at the pizzeria, typically doing their own special activities. Another special activity that was only unique to Bruce was Bruce's Golden Egg. This was a special event for birthday parties. The employees would store the guests present in a large oversized gold spray painted egg. It came apart in two halves just like the miniature surprise toys kids would get from the coin machines. Now some people have pointed out that Bruce is meant to be a male character and it doesn't make a whole lot of sense for them to have an egg. The employees typically agreed but then again what animal character at Freddy Fazbear's Pizza did make any sense. So now we've been introduced to Bruce the Goose and their many different roles at the Funtime Farm, it's time to look a little deeper into the incidents and accidents that occurred surrounding this character. So as we all know, when the doors close and the restaurant is locked up for the night, the characters tend to walk around and have a mind of their own. Whether they're trying to escape the pizzeria, walking around hugging anyone and everything they see, or obsessively collecting all the plastic ball pit balls. But when it came to Bruce, it was their curious nature that always got them into trouble. Like we stated in the first FNAF Funtime Farm video with Henry, all the animatronics were fitted with a smart intelligence chip. This typically gave the characters the ability to be sentient and develop their own personalities and characteristics. So in the case of Bruce, the AI smart chip always wanted to learn. This curious nature paired with their long extendable neck often landed them in tricky situations. Bruce was known to wander the pizzeria, sticking their head into many vents and openings. Bruce just had to know where all these secret places led to. Sometimes when the pizzeria would open in the morning, employees would have to pull him out from being stuck. They never had any idea how this kept happening. So on one unfortunate night, Bruce found himself in the kitchen. One of the chefs forgot to lock the door and this would prove to be a serious accident. Bruce has never seen inside the kitchen before. With this new area and all the new things to come with it, Bruce went into a curiosity overload. 
They spent the whole night exploring the kitchen and messing around with all the new and exciting things. They eventually found the open smoke extraction vent. This was the air duct that extracted any unwanted smoke and steam from the kitchen. There was a large fan at the end of the vent that would always be running. Now, Bruce being the curious goose he was, he needed to figure out what was inside this vent. As they stretched their head through the vent, they would soon realise what was at the end. As they slivered their way through the vents, they eventually got to the large spinning fan. Unfortunately, Bruce went a little too far and drove their bill straight into the sharp metal blades. With a disturbing shredding and crunching sound, small pieces of plastic bill started to rain down from the vent. After struggling for a while, they managed to free themselves. When they removed their head, not much was left of their bill. All that was left was a frightening shredded plastic bill hanging from their face. Bruce has never had a surprise like that before. They finally found out what was at the end of these vents. With this rush of excitement and fear, they decided to investigate every little thing in this kitchen. By the morning, the employees found a severely damaged and torn up Bruce in the kitchen. Not only had they managed to get themselves all dirty and stained, but they've also managed to rip and shred parts of their material skin. The employees didn't know what to do with this frightening looking animatronic, and they couldn't put them out on stage looking like this, or they'd scare all the children. They decided to store them away for the time being until they could get them repaired. Whilst Bruce was stored away, they became increasingly curious about everything they came into contact with. With their new sharp metal endoskeleton claw, they now had the ability to tear objects open and see what was inside. They tore apart stuffed toys, other spare parts, and anything else that interested them. After they've discovered all they can, there was still one final thing that they never knew. What exactly were these strange beings that were always in the pizzeria? They called them guests, but what exactly were they? Are they robots just like them? Are they just large living toys? Bruce had a burning desire to find out what was inside these beings. But the restaurant was closed and Bruce was going mad with questions as to what they were. They couldn't wait any longer. The strange being with the jacket and the hat would have to do. Tonight, they would find out exactly what these beings were. Unfortunately for our poor security guard, Bruce only knew one way of finding out what objects were. So now let's get into the gameplay mechanics of this video. So after a couple of hectic nights, our security guard is still hanging in there. On their first night, they need to find the missing buttons for the control panel and watch out for Henry. Then, they need to stay safe in the office and avoid being hugged by Daisy on the second night. On the third night, it was their job to get rid of the ball pit, and Oinky still has it out for them and wants to make them pay. So now, on the fourth night, they need to return to the security office. This is where they'll spend the night and try to keep safe from the deadly characters outside. So aside from keeping an eye out for all the other characters, they would also have to keep a close eye out for Bruce. Bruce would approach the door from either side, and as soon as they did, the player would need to close them immediately. But one thing the player would soon figure out is that Bruce can also access the vent above them with their long extended neck so the player would also have to look out above them to quickly shut the air vent. But they couldn't keep this shut for long or else they would run out of air. So now the player has to manage both doors and the vent above their head. If the player fails to cover every opening, they'd get greeted with a classic FNAF jump scare. Now I think Bruce would be a great addition to the Funtime Farm roster. They offer a unique gameplay mechanic and would definitely increase the pressure and the scares for the player. 
Alrighty everyone, well that's all we have for today's video, I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, please consider leaving a like, commenting, and subscribing, as it helps out a lot and it's greatly appreciated. Also, keep an eye out for that community live stream, but we're going to make our own FNAF character. Also, do be sure to comment down below what you thought of today's character, and also what you'd like to see going forward. Alrighty everyone, with the next video, catch you later, bye.